we're going to go ahead and work through this review for the chapter 2 test. I'm going to do this in part, so we'll do the first six questions on this little video, so let's go ahead and get started. State the following relation, if the following relations are functions. All right, well, here's a relation. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. So as long as the same x value is not repeated with a different y value, so negative 1 is only paired with 1, 0 is only paired with 0, 1 is paired with 1, it's okay that these two are the same. Uh, we just don't want the x values being the same. So this one is uh, yes, it is a function. Next one, x equals negative 5. Well, we have to have an understanding of what that means. x equals negative 5 is a line. And it's actually a vertical line through negative 5. So a vertical line through negative 5 um, would look like this. And a vertical line does not pass the vertical line test. It goes through lots of points there, so this one is not a function. Over here we can use our other test for vertical lines, um, and that's the, the vertical line test, sorry, the other test for functions, and that is the vertical line test. So what we want to do here is we want to kind of determine if there's a vertical line that can go through more than just one point. So if we drag this vertical line across here, we see that this right here goes through more than one point. It does for several different areas. So this one, uh, the answer is no, it's not a function. So this is no. And then over here, we can do the same idea. Let's take our same vertical line come across here and in this case there is never a vertical line that goes through more than one point. So this one's a yes. And the next couple questions uh, use the relation here for the following. Graph the relation. Let's go ahead and graph that. Uh, we want to graph negative 1 1, so our x values come first, and then our y values, 0, 0, that's the origin. 1, 1, so right 1 and up 1, and then the last one is 2, 4. And there are those points, that's the relation. We do not connect these points because it's just five individual, four individual points on the graph. It doesn't ask us, ask us to connect them. The domain and range, the domain then, uh, in this case, it's nice and simple because it's just a set of numbers. It's all the x values. So we have negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And we do usually list them in numerical order. I wrote that wrong. Negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. That's the domain. And then the range. That's the y values that appear. So we have 1, 0, 1, 4. We'll put them in numeric order. We would start with 0. And then we would put 1. Although 1 is listed twice or shows up twice in our order pairs, we only have to list it once and then 4. So there's the answer to those first six questions.